Hello colors, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona wants to reinforce three positions, have identified primary targets and alternative. Then to conclude this episode, talking on this transfer, claiming that Barcelona CD 60 million euro rated um, defender Martin Zubimendi as a priority target over Premier League star Ruben Neves. This is according to Fabrizio Romano. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Awesome. Heading into the summer transfer window, Barcelona will once again be under a certain amount of pressure due to La Liga's financial fair play rules that could limit their spending power in the market. But President Juan Laporta and co have already begun laying out plans for the next transfer window as they look to further equip manager Xavi Hernandez with the tools needed for him to take Barcelona back to the very top. To that, Journalist Javi Miguel is reporting that Barca have identified three positions that need reinforcements in the summer. The Catalans wish to bring in a new right back, a holding midfielder and a striker before the next campaign kicks off. The journalist further adds that Barcelona have already chalked down the names of their primary targets for each of those positions while also identifying backup options in case they fail with their plan A. As per the report, Juan Foyt of Villarreal is the primary target at right back, with Benjamin Pavard of Bayern seen as a plan B. So when it comes to the defensive midfield role, Xavi Hernandez and Co continue to prioritize a move for Martin Zubimendi despite his 60 million euro release clause. In case Barcelona are unable to sign the Real Sociedad ace, Fiorentina A, Sofia and Amrabat is seen as the plan B. As for the center forward slot, Barcelona have set their sights firmly on Brazilian teenager Vitor Roch of Atletico Paranense. The 17 year old, who recently won the South American Under 20 Championship with Brazil, could cost 30 million euros plus variables. Why Barca are confident of signing Roch? They have their eyes set on Atletico Madrid forward Yannick Carrasco as an alternative to strengthen the front line, with the club having a 20 million euro purchase option for the Belgian. Javi Miguel also reports that with incomings, there are bound to be exits as well. Given the fair play problems, but Xavi and Laporta are clear on the points that none of the starters or regulars will be allowed to, this, to leave the club despite recent speculation in some situations or in some sections of the media. Talking about the likes of Anto Fati, or maybe frankly the young ones in why we get reports of he can still be open for sale because he's a highly valuable player that could enable Barca to or at least close their wage bill to a certain level to comply with, 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 with the salary cap. Um, definitely Laporta have made it clear that all these starters that Xavi is prioritizing in his starting eleven, definitely those players will be there next season, of course. So this report just brings out, you know, the, the top priorities or the top um, areas of the, the pitch to strengthen. And it is no surprise. Right back is something that we've been talking about countless number of times. Barca needs a new right back. We understand Kunde is doing so well in that position. But we all know Kunde have been always talk about, you know, he, he is not, he prefers to play center back than right back. Even though he does right back than most right backs, right? But Barca will continue to look for a proper right back, you know. Then defensive midfield position is also one of the most talked about in recent months. We all know Busquets' situation. Um, he has not yet extended his contract, even though the, there's still some complications. Xavi wants him to stay. Laporta wants him to stay for at least another season. And uh, they're still talking about the DM. It seems as though Javi still wants to go for a new DM, irrespective of Busquets staying or not. Um, Frankie de Jong is there. We all know Frankie de Jong is a DM, but uh, his role at Barca is just, you can't explain. He plays a deep midfield role. I mean, 
He's multi he's multi talented in many areas in midfield. So Barcelona don't want to consider Frankie de Jong as that Busquet type because they are quite different. It's very clear. So Martin Zubimendi have been the top choice. We all know that it's no secret. Um, Ruben Neves, another one um, that Barca are considering highly, even though Xavi does not rate Ruben Neves highly. Instead, it's President Laporta who rates Ruben Neves highly. Of course, Josh Mendes was in Barca last week to discuss some certain transfer issues with the club president, and these two players were discussed. Um, Ruben Neves have been offered by Josh Mendes to the club, but it seems as though Javi does not want him to be here. Then also striker. The striker is another position that Barca needs to strengthen. Because to be honest, I think if we are just relying only on Robert Lewandowski, they will go, they, in fact, there will be a big problem. We can't do that. We shouldn't even do that. Because not all the time. He's getting old and certainly nature might catch up on him. So just to nurture a, a young star who can be here at a very long run. And Victor Roque of Brazil is the number one target. And Barca have vowed that they will do all that they can to bring him. Then on to the final story of discussion, Ruben Neves of Wolverhampton Wanderers has been heavily linked with a move to Barcelona as a possible replacement for captain Sergio Busquets. The Portuguese international has been on the club's radars for a while now, with reports suggesting that he is also the preferred option for President Juan Laporta. In fact, recent reports suggested that super agent George Mendes had offered Neves to Barcelona even though manager Xavi Hernandez continues to have doubts about his suitability to the team. Amidst this, Fabrizio Romano has come up with an update on the situation surrounding the former FC Porto starlet, stating that while his name has been discussed at Barcelona, the Catalans have other priorities for the summer, which include a certain Martin Zubimendi. Fabrizio Romano said he has been discussed with Barca, but they have different priorities for the summer, including Martin Zubimendi. So let's see how they will decide to proceed. Zubimendi has long been touted to be Xavi's preferred option to take over from Busquets in case the club captain leaves at the end of the season. However, the problem with the 23-year-old Spaniard is that he has a release clause worth 60 million euros in his contract with Real Sociedad. And La Real are not willing to offer any discounts on that figure which puts Barca in a difficult spot. The Catalan heavyweight financial problems make it near impossible for Xavi and Co to shell out such a sum on a single player, especially when there are other areas that the club wish to bolster in the summer. As for Neves, the Portuguese international was reported to be keen on a move to Barcelona in the past. However, as per recent reports, the midfielder is now opening to listening to offers from clubs in the Premier League amidst Xavi's doubts. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.